ladies and gentlemen from Memphis, Tennessee, Fat Farm and Debella Entertainment. In association with Prize Fight Boxing and Don King Productions, are proud to present the main event of the evening 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBC Welterweight Championship of the World. Sanctioned by the Tennessee Boxing Commission, Commissioner Steve Myshak, Boxing Administrator Charlie Peterson. At ringside, should this bout go the distance, the three judges scoring are Jose Juan Guerra, Oren Schellenberger, and Jack Woodburn. And inside the ring, your referee, Lawrence Cole. And now, for all the fans in attendance here in Memphis, Tennessee, and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black, officially weighing 145 pounds. Professional record, 29 victories, including 23 knockouts with only two defeats. From Mexico City, the WBC number two ranked welterweight in the world, Miguel Angel, Mickey. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue, official weight, 146 pounds. A perfect professional record consisting of 21 bouts, 21 victories, including 18 knockouts. Fighting out of Winter Haven, Florida, the undefeated WBC number one ranked welterweight in the world, Andre Berto. Nikki. All right, gentlemen. I went over the rules early in the dressing room. I want you to obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. Understood? All right. Touch them up. Good luck. Buenos Good luck. Against Cosme Rivera and David Estrada in recent fights, Andre Berto has shown his toughness, but he's also looked vulnerable. Can Mickey Rodriguez exploit those vulnerabilities? Rodriguez, since December of 2005, has a total of three fights Sorry. for 16 rounds. Berto, over that same time span, has had 13 fights and 59 rounds. Round number one, good jab by Berto to get things going. Rodriguez says he started boxing 20 years ago. His entire boxing life, the dream has been getting a piece of a championship. He said, my time is now. So no stone unturned. We mentioned he got fired from the police force in Mexico City to really focus on his training. Strength and conditioning coach, help with the diet. You can see it in Rodriguez's physique. Berto told us one of the keys is to make sure he doesn't pull straight back. That's where Rodriguez could cause some damage. Rodriguez has a good left hook. He throws that jab and he turns into a left hook. So uh, definitely a tell him uh, punch in the fight. Feeling out process here at round one. Berto has to find a way Break. to allow his speed and athleticism to overcome the size disadvantage, which he's going to find himself in against most welterweights. Now, this is also some of that pause that we're seeing here between Stop. two. They're trying to gauge each other's head. speed. Right. Yes, Berto's got a couple different rhythms that he boxes with, and you know. One second he stops and then all of a sudden he comes out with unbelievable speed. And this is what messes up his opponent, especially Rodriguez. 
two, right one, now. two wonderful stiff jabs by Berto. Snap back the head of Rodriguez. Yeah, look at it from Berto's side. I mean, we have great boxing fans, but you know, how many of the fans have actually ever been in the ring? But uh, the right hand by Berto. Is it a situation where right now Berto is trying to gauge the speed of Rodriguez to get his timing? Almost like you take a pitch in your first at bat, first time up, you haven't seen a pitcher before. You know, take a pitch, get a sense of what his speed is like, and then you can judge off it. Yeah. Um I mean, you know, he's got unbelievable quickness, and that's what he's using. He can actually take a second and then throw it and not make you feel that he's going to throw a quick punch, but he comes out with it. What he needs to do is maybe throw a bit more, like when he, not one jab, but two right. jabs, three jabs, two jabs, and a left hook. These are the kind of mix-up punches he needs to throw against Rodriguez. End of round number one. Sit down. Breathe. Breathe smart. Sit down. How we feel? Yeah. Relax. Man, man. Relax. Man. Listen, relax. Okay? Nice and relax. I wanna work, man. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, I need a punch huh? yeah, on. No, but listen, you still be smart. Everything's smart, okay? Relax. And then let him shoot, and then you conquer. Don't okay. rush it. Don't force nothing. And don't wait front, man. Go behind. We're working this. Come on, let's go. All right? All right, you're doing good, okay? Take the spit bucket, good. Dudley. Deep breathing. All right, when you get inside it, got your guards tight so that you don't get hit with a stupid hook coming back, all right? Come on, move at the back. Come on, go. Go. Look, it's set for start of round number two, 12 rounds, welterweights. Andre Berto in the blue, Mickey Rodriguez in the black. Patient flow in round number one. Good news for Berto so far. His defense is tighter than it's been recently. And his speed is carrying the day. The bad news is Rodriguez thus far seems unimpressed with Berto's punching power. To be fair, Berto hasn't really let off with his punches yet. He's still warming up. He's still getting the cobwebs out. Still needs to relax a little bit more. Still a little tight. <laughs> Berto trying to stick that quick jab. Rodriguez mixing in a little, just a little bit of movement. Right hand by Berto. Caught the attention of Rodriguez. Rodriguez felt that punch. Rodriguez in trouble, tries a counter right hand. I think it's safe to say that Rodriguez respects Berto's power now. Yeah, I, I still feel he's a, still a little bit hurt. Short little left inside by Berto, and another left hand to the chin. Right hand right on the button. Rodriguez hasn't put up his hands. It's like, okay, you hit me, but I'm not putting up my hands. Stop, break, step back. Don't even grab it, push off. So the hand speed and the power of Berto starts to surface in round two. Berto just missed the counter right hand. Oh. Well, Rodriguez looks like whatever speed he has, he's lost about half of it all of a sudden. Well, it seemed that that right hand by Berto really affected him. He put down his hand and shook it for a second, trying to say, Yo, let me get back into this fight. But that right hand has definitely changed the course of this round. Yeah, Rodriguez gets a good right hand in as Berto went straight back. That's the one thing Berto said he could not do. 